Greetings, my name is Fred Swanika. I'm the founder of the African Leadership Group. And I'd like to say a big congratulations to the Economic Development Board on this day as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the founding of the African Union. Mauritius has played a very critical role in the development of Africa and the Economic Development Board has been a key catalyst for enabling that uh, transformation. If I give the example of the African Leadership Group, we first began doing business in Mauritius in 2013 when we ran the African Leadership Network Conference and the EDB at the time it was called the Board of Investment supported us immensely at the time. We continued to build our relationships in Mauritius and by 2014 we had established um, an organization that would later on become the African Leadership Group. The EDB supported us tremendously in investment facilitation, introducing us to real estate partners, explaining the regulations of the country, introducing us to government officials, helping us to really navigate the landscape as we considered establishing operations in Mauritius. They made it really smooth and showed us there were a country, that Mauritius is a country that was really open for business and could be a gateway to Africa. I can honestly say it's the best experience I've ever had of in entering any country to do business. And it really shows that Mauritius deserves its ranking on the ease of doing business index on the continent. As a result of all this wonderful support, uh, we have established uh, operations in Mauritius with the African Leadership College, it's a, it's a, which has operations in Pampamoose, Mauritius, and is educating several hundred young people from all across the continent of Africa who have moved to Mauritius and are getting world-class education. They've gone on to work at the world's best companies like Google and Facebook and McKinsey and you know they're really transforming Africa and transforming the world with their innovations and, and the support they bring to African governments and African countries uh, companies. We've also made Mauritius our base for pan-African expansion beyond Mauritius. So today we operate in 53 of the 54 countries in Africa. We are training 200,000 software engineers and data scientists and cloud engineers and other technology talent that can really power Africa's development and can uh, even serve the world. Uh, our ambition is to train now three to five million technology talent in Africa and to allow the rest of the world to access this talent through our sites on the continent. We've set up 29 sites across the continent where this talent is being trained and they can work globally for global companies, just like you see in India, where the whole world goes to India for tech talent. We are now establishing Africa as that base for the world's tech talent. None of this would have happened without uh, the support of the EDB and you know the base that we have established in Mauritius. This entire Pan-African operation is headquartered in Mauritius. Um, and so, you know, I want to recognize again the phenomenal role that uh, the EDB has played. We have now a thousand employees. Um, we are using local banks in Mauritius um, as our base for our financial transactions across the continent. The fact that you know there are no foreign exchange restrictions allows us to operate seamlessly across the continent from Mauritius. Uh, we use Mauritian auditors and Mauritian law lawyers um, to you know operate our, our business and again you know we are playing a, our own humble role in uh, developing Africa uh, and uplifting this, its socio-economic um, standards and none of this would have been possible without our base in Mauritius and none of that would have been possible without the Economic Development Board so thank you and happy 60th anniversary uh, happy Africa Day thank you